Hi, this is Dave. And I started CrummyBank.com because of Coamerica Bank. Coamerica Bank is about the worst bank I've done business with in my 30 years in business. Being the CEO of three different companies, um, one of my companies needed a line of credit and uh, we went to Coamerica. Uh, they gave us a half million dollar loan. Uh, they actually took a third position on a building in case the loan never got paid back. And uh, we were fine with that at the time. Uh, we knew that uh, things were going good at that time, 2007. Um, so we went ahead and signed with the line of credit. Everything was great um, until 2008. Uh, we actually used the line. We um, owed a half million dollars, but we were making our payments on time. We had an auto pay uh, done with Coamerica, so they were receiving their payments on time every time and uh, they came to us and said you know we'd like to go ahead and see your financials so we showed them our financials showed them that sorry 2008 we weren't doing quite that well um, but our payments were made on time every time we were never late um, again they took the auto pay it was on time and they in turn uh, called our loan in November of 2000 and eight, uh, they said, hey, your loan is due and payable now. Um, unfortunately, with the economy, October, everything took a downturn. Um, we weren't able to go ahead and pay that back at that time. We, uh, I put uh, numerous properties up for sale to be able to try to pay that back. Uh, we did pay them on time, uh, again, with the auto pay. I can't stress that enough uh, that we were paying them on time. Well, I got a visit from two individuals from Coamerica Bank at my office. Um, they said that we would like to have your building appraised. And I said, well, that would be fine. Go ahead if that's what you want to do. Um, I just want to know who's going to pay for that appraisal. Coamerica said, you are. Um, and I said, you know what? Right now, I'm trying to run a business and cut expenses. Um, I think $2,800 for an appraisal right now um, is not really conducive. You can tell that the building is, you know, today by looking around what it's worth. Um, they didn't care about that. They appraised the building, billed me for $2,800, and uh, found out the building was worth $2.2 million when I only owed less than $800,000 on it. What they then proceeded to do is play hardball with me. Uh, how they did that, they went ahead and said, you know what, we're going to uh, have you sign this forbearance agreement um, and this forbearance agreement listed my family trust uh, one of my uh, other properties that I own um, said that if uh, there was any attorney fees that Coamerica would have to uh, come up with that I would have to pay for all Coamerica so if they sued me for any reason I pay all their attorney fees I pay my own attorney fees and you know, when they put my family trust and these other things in there, I said, no, I'm not going to sign this. They said, well, if you don't sign it, we're taking your building. Well, of course, when a building's worth $2.2 million and I only owe 700 on it, really, and I only owe them a half million dollars, well, they were strong-arming me, tried to do ahead, and, and uh, um, well, I think they, that's where they may make money is taking advantage of people that can't and pay, make, make their payments. I mean, excuse me, I was making my payments on time, but taking advantage of companies um, that don't have enough cash to pay them off and try to take their building. I don't know, but they sure uh, uh, went that direction. Um, I signed the paperwork under duress, um, and uh, then they raised my interest rate to nine and seven eighths. Again, this was in 2009. Um, this is when the economy is having all kinds of problems. This is when companies need more helps from banks than they ever did before. But what they do? They took me from a 6% interest rate to a 9 and 7 8 interest rate and again have never been late with Coamerica because they had a auto pay with me. We paid it automatically out of our bank account when we were banking with Coamerica. Well, then they told me that they are not going to accept auto pay anymore. Um, so now my payments are, are double and they're not accepting auto pay. 
and they'd like me to report to them every single, every two weeks to tell them how my business is doing and send my financials, put my general manager and my accounting department, um, give them more work to go ahead and uh, give them information about our company, uh, whether we're profitable or not. Um, it didn't matter to Go America uh, what uh, uh, financial burdens that we were going through, even though we were making our payments on time, all they cared about is the mighty dollar. And actually, they saw an opportunity to make even more money by taking advantage of me and trying to take my building. Well, we finally decided to stop the the extortion payments, as I call them. The extortion payments of over $6,000 a month, doubling my payments. We stopped making those and got an attorney. Um, at the same time, now they put the building into foreclosure. They are uh, in third position. They are, looks like they're willing to pay off first and second position to glob on to all the money that's on, available on this building. Uh, they will not work with me in any way, shape, or form. I've talked to them. Um, uh, Laura Gomez, uh, uh, she is an uncaring individual that works for Co-America. Uh, it's the only person I'm able to talk to. Um, I think if the president of Co-America Bank knew this was going on, he'd probably stop it. But obviously, um, Co-America wants my building. They do not care about small business. Um, all they care about is the mighty dollar and they were being paid on time. In today's economy, you would think that all they would need to do is go ahead and work a nice, normal, low interest rate with me until things recover. But that's not Co America. So this is the reason I switched. This is the reason I started ComfortComingBank.com to warn others about Co America Bank and their tactics of doing business.